G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zaboodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, The Walking Dead, where I have not moved from where we left off last time. I've been cowering in the corner, praying that nothing finds me, because the world is a very scary place. The zombies are brutally strong, hard to kill, and everywhere. So really not an equation that I stand any chance with. There is the morning chime, which means I can be a little bit bolder. I didn't want to go outside because spider zombies and stuff spawn at night and given I've got nothing but a spear and can barely hit the fat side of a barn, having a headshot a spider zombie, not going to happen on my best day. But now that it's daytime, they should have all died by the sun like the gargoyles they are so I can go out and have a bit of a gander around. Oh, my pet Chook's still here though. G'day chick, how you doing? I need to find a name for you before too long. Someone's moaning at me outside. I'll get to you in just a tick. Don't you worry about it. But time is of the essence. Time to get up, get going, and get our morning raid done. I wonder, actually, before I have my morning murder breakfast, quickly just stab you in the chops, how do we end up at the end of that day? So, oh, no! Oh, jeez, I thought someone was up behind me. We were so close to having 69 kills in a day, and that would have not just been nice. That would have been bloody swell. Ah, well, can't win them all, I suppose. Well, that's kind of interesting. Like, 70 kills in a day is a lot, actually. And with the double XP, we're going to be leveling up heckin' fast with all the zombie murder we have to do. Which is going to mean, like, good loot pretty quickly, but also, like, demolishes and soldiers and all sorts of bad news very early on. This is, uh, this could wind up being pretty bloody dicey before I've really had a chance to get my, my feet settled. So the quest was just out here somewhere, wasn't there? I know you're gurgling at me. Calm your bleeding farm. I mean, there's lots of farms around here. Whichever one was yours, it needs to be nice and calm. Ooh, thank you for the donation, though. What you going to give me, Jigglypuff? Not a lot, not a lot, not a lot. However, 762 ammo. If I find a decent pipe rifle, not too shabby. So that's the quest I gotta do. It's just a farm quest. It's not that too, too big of a deal. But hopefully there's a um a cheeky deeky cooking pot inside it. Because that's what I really need. I'm heckin' hungry. I've got all the ingredients, there's no means of cooking it. I wanna get this mission done, but I keep having to deal with zombies who are just coming out of the woodwork to cause me grievances. I do aim a little high for most of the attempted headshots. First because like if I aim low in my mind, because they're jaggling and jiggling their arms all about, like those stripper titties trying to earn a buck or seven. If I aim really high, the glancing blow will probably help me more from the knob. More importantly, I'll almost guarantee myself getting a headshot. Because the hitboxes, as we know in seven days, just aren't that accurate. Excuse me, walk around, avoid the cactus, don't have any more dramas with you. I mean, there's lots of pricks in this world, I don't need an extra couple. Of. Come on, get out of the woodwork. There you go, there you go. Hoodies aren't so scary anymore when they have the same weak point as every other zombie. I think we're finally good to go. There's a couple of zombies hanging out over at me house, which is a little rude. Go away, Nance. I'm not home, nor do I want to deal with you when I get back there. After a hard day's murdering, the last thing you want to do is get home and have to do more bloody murder. I did get a level up, though, so real quick, we're going to strength, sex, rex, give me that extra power regen. Oh, man. Seriously, there's more. It's just non-stop. It's like the world ended or something. You know what? Sod it. Start the quest. Let's just get it going. I know I could have done double loot, but haven't done that in a while. Plus, with the double XP, it would be pretty valuable, but nah. That's not how we roll anymore. Stabby in the chin. Anything else around? I'm getting a little bit sweaty. My goose is about as soggy as the Everglades. Probably a couple of gators swimming around in there as well. Uh, nothing else around. I wouldn't mind a shovel to grab... Oh, please don't be dogs. That's probably more terrifying than anything else, actually. Having to fight dogs and things like that. Dingo yesterday was bad news bears enough. A zombie dog charging at me at Mark 7. No bloody thank you. Any pots, though? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Dang it. All right, fine. I don't know what you two were cooking up in here, but it wasn't a feast someone else was invited to. Make sure we check the corners. That's what I'm most scared of. A lot of times this game is just like, hey, there's a door. Let me spawn a zombie six inches away from your nose before you even realize you're inside. Oh, some food. Give me that. Yum, yum, yum. Uh, so that's what I'm most worried about, because if he clocks me in the back of the head, it's all over many colored rovers. Grab you. Come on, please. 
Yucca juice, so I'll drink you straight away. Couple of mops outside, but I've got the arrows to deal with ya. Get up nice and close and personal. Pop off your noggin like it's a can of salmon. Easy as. I'm trying to go quick before whatever. Oh, Goro is waiting for me outside. Shows up. Get the ragdoll on the first crack. Very, very valuable, that cheeky deeky ragdoll. Speaking of. No one in them. But the longer I stay in the POI, the better chance there is that all the zombies outside will figure out where I am. So fast raid's a good raid. Not quite Nitro Express Express raid even, but definitely not hanging around to fuck any spiders. Check the bookcase real quick in case there's anything. <sighs> Remember when I was like, oh, I'll invest in some bloody Master Chef so that I can have all the recipes that I so desperately want. Oh! Then immediately found a boiled meat recipe. Oh god, don't do that. Don't give me unsure footing when I'm trying to deal with the plague infestation I've currently got in front of me. Fix you up. Should we one more? There we go. Job done. Got the tick of approval from Trailer Potato. Nice. Let's get in and get out of here before the rest of the zombies show up then. Thank you very much. Some extra speed would definitely be appreciated. More ammo. Scrap the buckshot for the lead. Oh, there's a lot of noises downstairs. I'm a little bit worried about it. Pop open the work assist box. Hopefully find some tools. Wasteland Treasure Volume 7. Take you. Fire Axe. Thank you very bloody much. Take the springs as well. What else is around? Some armor, some pockets, and some snacks. Nom, nom, nom. Whack you on me chinny, chin, chin. And also slot some pockets into ya. I doubt storing things on your head is a great idea. But I'll take anything for some extra storage. Ooh, some extra juicy gubbins. Thank you very much. Someone's traipsing through the crops. It's bloody heckin' rude. Trampling seeds. The heights of rudeness. Second owners are eating my brains. All right, what you got for me? Anything good? Ooh, a hammer. That's a very early hammer. No, I'm looking for those desperately for a long ass time. Trying to make myself a workbench, but find one day soon. Nothing to sniff at. I should, mm, I should go and raid. I should just go and raid the city because all of those books, uh, like the newspaper stands in there, have a chance of giving me the spear hunter books. And given apparently I'm going with spears, that would be a really good thing for me to have. Open up all of you. I mean, it's risky because bad things spawn in cities, but if I risk it for the biscuit and come out with, well, all of the spear books done, there we go. There's an archery book, what I was talking about. I reckon that would be worthwhile. The first thing I'll do, though, I know there's sneaky dicky gums up in the top of Rex, but I'll get there later on. Ooh, not the only valuable smell. needle and thread book, which is for the double storage pocket mod. One of the lesser valuable ones, but I'll take it. Ooh, take you. Or a hundred rounds of nine mil. Well, I'm not running pistols, so I guess I'll just take the book. Completing series are always a good idea, no matter how you shake that sauce bottle. Uh, give me that that one. It's the closest like one. Old ranch. Yeah, sure. It's like. Make me regret this. Is that the same place I just went to? No, I just went to there. All right. Well, it's next door. No wackers, knackers. I'll come back for that in a moment. But real quick, before I go, no, no cooking pot. No nothing. All right, fine. What else have you got then? Been a while since I went shopping. Got to get back in the habit of it. Oh, that one? Mm, maybe. I'll see what else is around. I'll take all of my money, but it might be a good idea. He does have bicycle handlebars in his secret stash for two grand, which is a lot of money, but I think I'm just going to go... I think I have to take it. I don't have to take anything. I mean, I've got no spots to put it onto anyway because I don't have any armor uh, parts at the moment. It'll stay there for several more days. That's fine. You can just hold on well, to that. How about you browse your ass right out of my... Man, there's only one br ass getting browsed around here. And it ain't by me. Uh, let's go here. Let's also sell all of you. Uh, sell that one too, because why not? And the rest of that can stay with me. You can get sold too, because crossbows... We'll see how it goes later on, but I don't have any intention of using those again. rest of that's all fine. All right, easy as. I'm going to quickly duck oh, on home. You want a guarantee, huh? I'm going to quickly duck on home, ignore Shadow Wrecked, and drop off all of my gubbins. Plus, I want to put a land claim block down, then I can go and raid the city. If I can find all those spear books, that'll be really good for me. Before I go out again, I'll actually grab uh, all of that. No! Oh! You were full of food! Oh, that was all of my eggs. All of my meats. Oh, that's... <laughs> Oh, that was a pricey mistake. I've got two eggs and ten raw meats. 
But a, a deer and a half worth of flesh just got obliterated. Ha. Huh. That was really fucking annoying. I got no one to blame but myself because I didn't upgrade the sodden thing. God damn it me. This game would be far, far easier. I would be a god at this game if it wasn't also fighting my own goddamn Muppetry. Here, upgrade the block, make it solid, then put something even mildly valuable on it. You utter sponge cake. Well, it is what it is. No, just crying over spilled bacon and eggs, although I'm very close to it. Caught in my eyes, I fill them with fluids and it doesn't feel good in any way, shape or form. But we will push on. Ah, uh, I don't think I need anything more out of you, do I? I should grab you and repair my sweet new um fire axe I just found. <sighs> okay, well, let's let's just try, try and put the past behind us and go and eat a couple of witchy grubs. That's what a meerkat taught me. Let's go find ourselves a couple of vending machines or a couple of newspaper stands. Just some way to find something shining enough. I forget about everything I just lost. Oh, let's also murder some deer if we find some as well. Sorry, Bambi. Your mum's too delicious. And look at that. Right off the bat, Spear Hunter Volume 2. Spear's a great 20% slower. Thank you. One down, six to go. Still don't feel any better, though. I'm gutted. I'm not seeing a lot on offer in the way of newspaper stands. It's the first time... Oh, there's one down there. It's the first time since Alpha 20 came out that I've actively gone and thought, you know what, I'm going to look for newspaper stands, not just, like, loot them on my way past on my normal endeavors. So the first time I try and find some, sure enough, none to be found anywhere around the joint. You need to die. Jeez, big ears. I mean, not really big ears anymore. I sliced them off. If you were Dumbo, you would be grounded indefinitely. I hate that you're circling me. I hate that you're always around me. You now I'll murder you. I need peace and quiet while I'm reading the paper. There's another dingo over there. He's barking up a tree and not the wrong tree this time because that's not mine, but good shot, Josh. Gonna have to sit you down anyway because I've just lost all my food and you're made of food. If you're made of Doritos, I'd have killed you in the same way, Arlene. Ooh, we'll catch you later while Super Titties is out and about, though. Quickly just try and harvest this up nice and quickly. There we go. I mean, things are going well. I was going to keep moving quick, keep trying to think quick. It's pretty difficult for me on a good day. It's getting a little ridiculous about how many zombies I'm actually having to murder here. It's like the tide isn't thinning at all. It's like I'm trying to get in the box on with the bloody rip currents. I'm trying and trying as best as I can. Everyone knows I should just swim perpendicular to the beach and get out of that sausage. But instead, I'm trying my best and floundering about, waiting for someone with a big paddleboard to come and help me. There you go. It's actually true advice though, by the way. Get caught rip current. Go so Ow! Go sideways. Don't go towards the beach. You bastard. I'm trying to help people stay safe at Bondi. You came over and walled me eardrums. That hurt so much. I think maybe the advice should have just been, hey, if you can't swim properly, maybe don't go to a surf beach. But, I mean, if it's sink or swim, don't take my advice. Because pretty clearly, I'm doing nothing but sinking right now. Finally, at midday... A shitty needle and thread book. No, thank you. Spear Hunter Volume 5. Increase attack speed by 10 cent. Thank you very much. And Bow Hunter. Well, three newspaper stands, three books I haven't read. Good decision. It may have hurt a lot, but, well, it is what it is. I might need to. It's not my only first aid. I don't like using them, but I'm going to have to use it now. Purely because I don't want to get the punch on with vultures. That's really going to give me some dramas. May as well just use it now and try and keep me safe. There's a couple more out here. Excuse me, buddy boy. Just sit you down and finish you off. Anything in you? But I'm taking most of the stuff I find because I'd rather just have doubles up of things and my inventory space isn't too chockers just yet. You can stop giving me the same archery book over and over, though. Double pocket mods. The one valuable book of needle and thread. Thank you very bloody much. Don't need that one again. Spear Hunter Volume 3. Craft Steel Spears with high damage and durability. All right. Well, game, you've been inundating me with steel spear parts for a long ass time. Now is the time you can continue that trend. Chuck you there. Scrap all that and take the rest of it. There is a cracker book right there as well. I'll leave that for later. We're just getting the newspapers for now. See some more in the distance over there. I'm really only going to do the block because I still need to find a cooking pot. This is all kind of redundant if I starve to death. So a cooking pot definitely needs to be somewhat further up the list of priorities. Ooh. 
Alrighty, Dina, then scrap you, chuck you in there, and repair you with the guts of your predecessors. Yeah, see, I'm starting to get really bloody hungry. Excuse me, Chuck. I've got a pet of you back home, but you are right for the picking. Good shot, me. Get you swinging, get you missing, get you stabbing. There we go. I'll harvest you up in a second, chicken. Just hold on a moment. I've got big problems to fry first. Ooh. You just gave me some loot, which I don't mind. You're a blue bag. I mean... I'm not rolling sledgies. I haven't rolled sledgies in... I don't even know how long. I don't remember the last time I rolled sledgies was. I still don't think it's the right move for this game, uh, playthrough. You have to be like, really specter the strength to make that work. And normally I go clubs if I do. But Spears is doing a good job. All of their noggins are very mushy, which is the only way I can survive for now. So the extra reach is more important than anything else. Oh, there's another dingo out there as well. All right, you can lay off with the wildlife. I think I have some skill points to spend, but I'm so preoccupied with just trying to make sure I'm <laughs> pushing water back up a hill with a stick, but the water is just the tide of the zombies. So I haven't really had a chance to plan out where the next lot of my, uh, whatchamacallit's gonna go, the next lot of my skill points. Put you down, finish you off, please. Circle around so they're all in front of me. My stamina is dog shit. That's fine. As long as I can walk in circles just slightly faster than them will be all right. Got to plan smart, not just like stab and hope. I've done so much murder today. I'm already hungry and thirsty all over again. Bonds mate level up. Got three skill points to spend. Double XP is moving heckin' quickly and taking no prisoners. You're not dead yet. Don't take your eyes off the prize. Murder a couple of crawls, just like free deliveries of XP, you lot. Climb through your friend's body. Nice. Okay, just a couple left over now. <laughs> Once you guys are gone, I can finally read the newspaper. That's all I came here for. All right, loot bag first, because I'm thirsty and hungry. Frothy will do. It gives me no fluids. Listen. I'm Australian, though I've drunk my fair share of froths over the journey, and I guarantee you that once I've popped that seal, every froth that goes in comes out rather quickly, so I can guarantee you it does give you some hydration, because I'm pissing bloody Crystal Pepsi at the end of a big night out. Ooh, that's a bookhouse. Does bookhouse have a, a cooking pot on the counter? That was weird. It might do. Everything's kind of fuzzy right now, but it's worth a crack. If I can find that cooking pot, I feel a whole lot better about everything that's going on. Plus, you know, maybe even some sneaky beverages hanging out in the fridge in there. Oh, guys, I need to get inside. I'm really hungry and really thirsty. You're making it very difficult for me to get the things I need to keep this mushy puddle that I call a body up and moving still. They always just seem to time their approach at the worst possible moment. Right when I'm... Oh, for goodness sake, you buried your face in the bricks as well, you ostrich bitch. Yeah, I, just, I need to get inside and go and find the things I need. And you guys are like, hey, do you have a moment to talk about a zombie savior? I'm like, no, dick cheese, I don't. I need some actual cheese. Bonds are making another level up out of that. I'm now level 12. You know what? I think I need to. Where was it? Where's like the eye and gut one? I'm probably just searching. Hey, eye and gut. I definitely need a point into you because I'm burning through my nutrients so heckin' quickly. And I need... Level three. So that one, that one, and then that one. I was going to say, I heard footsteps. Stamina regen, so bloody important. I'm malaying everything under the sun. I need the stamina to do so. And trust me when I say, I don't have the stamina to last that long at the best of times. All right, let's go quickly then. Get inside. No one's waiting in the kitchen. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. It's not a snack, but it is digestive efficiency and a heck of a lot of fluids. So nothing to sneeze at at all. Nothing else around. In fact, you know what? I am going to cut my losses. I need to find that cooking pot. I can't go raiding the whole book house and getting distracted by that. We're going to head back to where I came from. Try as I might to find that cooking pot. Because that's everything, everything that I need. Oh, actually, grill? Damn it! There's another cracker book just here. I mean, there's a lot of good POIs around for my taking in whenever I'm able to do it. This wasn't generated with the Mega Cities mod. It just is apparently a really big city, and I'm here for it. I should probably try and avoid murdering as I say as I murder. 
Kind of as much as I can because it's burning through my food and I don't have a good way to keep that up. What is, um, hang on a second. What's living, uh, living off the land under? You need to be fortitude. Bloody fortitude, the worst of the skill trees. For half a second, I consider going, ah, shit. I consider them going and specking into living off the land and growing a nice old farm. Damn it. In my, uh, in my front yard. But if I'm good, I have to spec into fortitude and have to get max level living off the land to make it worthwhile. Just, just nah. Just fucking nah. Here's the house I gotta raise. Let's do it nice and quickly. Do I have any wood on me, actually? I do not. Give me half a tick. I'll just quickly beat down this stump and put myself a box to shovel me gubbins in. Thank you. Thank you. And whack you down. Cheese knackers. All right. There will do, actually. In fact, before I chuck stuff in, just in case that box disappears, tickle you. Box is still there. The last thing I want after my horrendous form this morning is to chuck a box down full of all of my valuables. Oh, where did I get you? I don't even remember. I don't need you right now, though, but good to know you're in there. Should I need you later on? White mailbox. Check you. Done the book I've already read. Yeah, the last thing I need is to put the box down, fill it with all my stuff, and then reset the POI and lose the box. Don't ask me how I know that happens, because it's a very sorry tale. Okay. It's almost, what? Ooh, geez. Five o'clock. Need to make this nice and quick. Fetch the gubs and get out of here. I can't see much down here, although you are for sure full of zombies. I take it back. You're for sure not full of zombies. I got way too confident in my own ability to predict things, and but now I've got egg on my face. Well, actually, my egg's on my floor of my house rather than anywhere else right now. Open you real fast so I have an escape. Always going to make sure you're covering your exits. You only die in this game when you get trapped and cornered, so I'm going to avoid that for as long as possible. I might be able to keep on drawing in oxygen. Oh, how you doing? Good looking. So that's the chassis. And Trady Potato is actually selling the the handlebars. So, like, maybe I go and buy the handlebars and make myself a bike on, like, day three. Admittedly, I do need a workbench to do so. Because I have to be able to make the, um, the, the chassis out of it. But, oh, got a bit squeaky there. But, not a bad idea. Not a bad shout. Speaking of shouting, someone's making a heck of a ruckus outside here. It's like you're a cat at feeding time. Just yelling. Just yelling for no good reason. Still no cooking pots on the bench, but maybe, maybe the game's just dicking us. You know, it's like, hey, I know you want to cook some food, but how about, yeah, nah, mate. And I'm bloody desperate for just a little bit of luck. Just finding rotten flesh all over the gaff. Right, all right. Well, never bloody mind then. Microwave, God, just an empty glass jar. The zombies are coming inside from outside. <sighs> just can't catch a break right now, can I? Everything's not coming up Millhouse. I'm not having a good time. I forgot my rubber pants. It's gotten very dim and dingy, but we're heading down into the basement. Any I mean, I know there's someone waiting for me. I just don't know where, because I can't see the tip of me nose, let alone the tip of me spear. Well, that's fine. Oh, that's very fine. Good job, Spirit Boy. Extra good job, Spirit Boy. The reach on the Todger. This is the first time I've ever had something big to poke with. I'm very excited about it. Everyone's now good and dead. Search you for nothing in particular. No, nothing else around. Oh, come on, please. Not too bad. It's better than the nothing I currently have on. I was hoping for some goggles. Always fiending for goggles. There's the loot, but is there no one guarding it? Don't question it, Josh. When something arrives on a silver platter, in fairness, you never trust a silver platter. But, I mean, at this point, I don't really have an option. So, ammo pile, what you gonna give me? Just some bullets, wooden crate. Ooh, some cooling mesh. Actually, that's a good get. Slap you on me forearms and, ooh, actually, I'll chuck it on you. Whack you on there. There we go. Keep me nice and cool. Cheese biggies. Give me some food. <laughs> I made a joke about a hungry cat just yelling about shit, so you gave me cat food. Well, at least the gods have lost their sense of irony. There's still a big bag of dicks. And uh, not much in the gun store box either. Scrap you, take the rest of that. Scrap that one. All right, the crickets are chirping. It's time to go. It's time to go. I need to grab you on my way out so I don't make a right hash of this. Can I actually escape here at all? Or do I have to go like the long way back out of here? Hmm. 
All right, I was hoping for a faster route and not directly into the path of the zombies. It's about to be night time, so nightmares are about to spawn. And I'm not equipped to handle it right now. I've got a little bit of time at least. Let's quick at this duck in, see Rekt, and see what he wants, what he wants even to reward me with. I don't think I can put you on a spear, but I mean, it's more valuable to me than shotgun shells, so I'll take you. I'll take the other job that's kind of close by, fast food. That should hopefully give me a decent chance of finding a sodden cooking pot that we're so desperate for. Modify you, chuck you in. Does give me extra damage. All right, time to go. Time to go home. Mm, none of you attempting. All right, let's get out of here then. Homer's over that way. Homer's where the heart is. Though at this point, zombies are trying to take it. It's too squishy and bloody for that. Oh God, they're coming out of the fog now. I'm just hoping I made it home with enough time to clear out all. Oh, a lot of zombies that have followed me home. But I don't want it to turn nighttime then to know where I am. I can't take shelter inside the prison if everyone's beaten down the walls. Gotta defend my home as best I can. Ooh, the weighted head mod spear is apparently doing a pretty bang up job of it. Sort it out. I am very hungry. Doesn't yucca like give me like grilled yucca or something I can make? Which I can't do without a freaking uh, grill anyway. Huh. Uh, you. You, you. No, I can't. Maybe grilled yucca is in something else. But either way, I've got no choice. I'm bringing home some slabs of meat. So I hope charred meat is good enough just to get me through to tomorrow. I was going to say I don't want to use all of it, but at this point, do I really have an option? Look how hungry I am. There's basically no green left in my food bar. Oh, about as snacky as you get. You can all just hang out in there for a bit then. In fact, give me you and you. And with the leftover time in that, I'm going to make some more yucca juice. Remember the days when yucca juice gave you, like, um, a cooling factor so that you could be in the desert and not sweat yourself into oblivion? I remember those days. Those were the good days. No longer, but it's still useful for fluids. Just doing good work of just shoving my face full of any meat I can. As soon as it's available, no, I'm straight down between me teeth and between me tonsils and jangling about below me bloody esophagus. Nice. Okay. So, it's now nine o'clock. Uh, what do I need? I'm also losing fluids every charred steak I eat, which is annoying, but is what it is. Uh, you... I can't get the next level of sex rex yet. I, I need that. I need strength level five. Which is why, like, this is why the strength trait is the most OP one. Because you need to be in strength regardless of what you do. So you may as well just stay in strength and use the club or the sledgehammer. But, what about in here, though? What, what, is, what are you going to give me, actually? Firearms and archery. I thought you gave me extra pen on spears. It does have some penetration on spears already. Don't you? I think. Hang on, let me have a little gander at you. Target, yeah, 30% armor penetration. So speed's actually pretty good for that. I would have thought penetrator would give me extra, but apparently not. Lock picking, no, worthless. Dead eye probably put some points in it when I can find a decent rifle. Animal tracker, given I just lost all my food, maybe that is worthwhile for a change. Mm, I mean, nothing's really jumping out at me here except for another level of, of lucky looter. All right. Fuck it. Spears, rifles, and lucky looter. The rest of that stuff can piss off. I actually penetrate it too. Always needs some good penetration. I'm not going to eat the rest of these steaks for now because I'm basically, well, I'm not full, but I'm like mostly full, 75%. The next mission, in fact, I should have just gone there first. I should, because of the Mega City series where I thought going to like shop fronts that were for a specific thing would get me the things I need and turns out that's not the case. I kind of put it to the back of my mind that raiding a fast food joint might give me a cooking pot or at least food. That's where I have to go tomorrow anyway. I don't really want to just focus on doing jobs for Trader Potato. I still want to go and explore and raid without the guidelines of trade missions. But for the starting part, like, part, to get myself sorted and get the things I need and actually get myself a bicycle... Yeah, no, I think it's worthwhile just for the bicycle and nothing else. So I'll go there tomorrow. It's about to be night time, so grab all of you, turn you off, quickly chuck you guys away, and watch my visibility go right down. Need to be nice and stealthy quiet, which means I have to sit in the darkness as well. Hopefully the Peter Patter of Raindrops will drown out the sound of my shivering breathing, because I am tense as ball sacks right now. The world is an awful place, and I don't want to be in it anymore. Well, I guess it's just another night of me sitting, cradling my own knees and praying no one hears me. 3% visibility, which is good. I can hear the zombies outside already, so I know they're there. They just don't know that I'm here yet. 
it does mean that I can't really do anything. I can't look at my backpack. I can't look at my storage. I can't look at my cooking fire. Oh, man. This is stressful. This is one of the most stressful playthroughs I've done. And it's only day two. My heart rate's up. My stomach is contracting. Oh, I'm just, I'm just all over the shop. I'm like a bloody dog's breakfast right now. So I think that's the play. I think that's the play for tomorrow. I'll go and do the fast food place, hopefully find that cooking pot and some extra snacks along the way so I can get myself some bacon and eggs cooking up because until I can actually feed myself and keep myself fed, anything else I do is kind of redundant. So I'll head out there, keep my eyes peeled for any newspaper stands. I've gone a little bit north, but we might head maybe a bit east in the morning. Dishong Tower's over there somewhere I've seen as well. So we'll head out that way, see what we can rustle up over in the bushes out that direction, swing around and then do the, uh, the fast food joint. I just got to get those books done. How close am I to getting that happening though? I've only found a couple up, but a couple is better than none of them. Spear Hunter, three out of seven. What else is there for me to get in here though? Quick succession uh, do more damage. That's going to be useful. Throwing spears and slow target. I'm not throwing spears this time because I'm a shit shot to start with. So that's just a bad idea. Throwing away my weapon, not a good idea. Projectile speed and range doesn't help. But 10% more damage on tier 1. But also, <sighs> power attacks do more damage to a down target. So like drop them, then yeet into their nasal cavity. Power attacks, like spears just need a regular power attack. Maybe like an extra third option, like middle mouse button, like the scroll wheel click could throw spears, I suppose. But you need like a real gusto stab. That's what spears are missing. But either way, guys, I'm going to sit here and cower for the rest of the night. Then head out in the morning and follow through with that plan. Hopefully it goes well. Fingers and toesies and scrotums all crossed. Any like uh, appendage you have, tied or not like a tied a present. Little bow tie never goes astray. But I'll have to come back and tie those, bow those bows even in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the page, the Patreon, who made this episode possible. If you liked, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.